classical swine fever, also known as hog cholera, is a contagious viral disease of domestic and wild swine. It is caused by a virus of the genus Pistivirus of the family Flaviviridae. There is only one serotype of classical swine fever virus. It is a deadly virus disease of pigs in the country, which is endemic in the Philippines. It is also considered as the number one pig viral disease in the country, and it causes a high negative economic impact. As the virus enters in the oral and nasal cavity of a pig, it targets the epithelial cells of tonsillar crypts where they undergo for a viral replication. The virus travels to the regional lymph nodes and then to the efferent blood capillaries, giving rise to viremia. The CSF virus has an affinity for vascular endothelium and cells of the immune system. The virus proliferates to the secondary target tissues such as the spleen, kidney, intestine, bone marrow, lymphoid tissues, and visceral lymph nodes. Severe leukopenia due to apoptosis of activated lymphocytes and thrombocytopenia leads to death. Classical swine fever or CSF can be transmitted principally by intimate contact with sick animals and directly or indirectly with secretions and excretions such as saliva, nasal secretions, urine, and feces. The virus can survive in pork and processed pork products for months when meat is refrigerated and for years when it is frozen. Classical sand fever has no impact on humans' health but humans can spread the virus in many ways. Clinical signs of classical swine fever Acute form It is more virulent virus strains. Signs are fever in 41 degrees Celsius, anorexia, lethargy, multifocal hyperemia, and hemor hemorrhagic lesions of the skin and conjunctivitis. In large swollen lymph nodes, cyanosis of the skin especially of extremities such as ears, limbs, tails, and snout. Transient constipation followed by diarrhea, vomiting, dyspnea, coughing, ataxia, paresis, and convulsion. Pigs will huddle together and that occurs 5 to 25 days after onset of illness. Mortality in young pigs can approach up to 100%. Chronic form Less virulent virus strains. Signs are dullness, capricious appetite, paraxia, diarrhea for up to one month, ruffled appearance of pigs, growth retardation, poor reproductive performance may be only sign in some breeding herds infected with less virulent strain. Apparently recover with eventually relapse and then within about three months. Diagnosis is based on history, clinical signs, serologic testing, virus detection, and PCR. Blood samples that are collected with ETA, which is an anticoagulant, can be used in virus isolation and viral detection. Clotted blood samples or serum that are collected can be used to detect the presence of antibodies, which is the ELISA. RT-PCR can also be used, and RT-PCR is the most sensitive test used to detect classical swine fever and can differentiate classical swine fever to other diseases. Hog cholera has no treatment but can be prevented by a vaccine. So when an outbreak occurs, many actions must be set in place urgently. Slaughter of all pigs on affected farms. Safe disposal of carcasses, beddings, and any materials that have contact with the infected pig. Then, thorough disinfection in an area where the pig dies or disinfect the whole farm. Detailed epidemiological investigation with tracing of possible sources and surveillance of infected zone and surrounding area.